All right, guys, welcome back to the V1 channel here. Today, we're going to be going back into the MCDU and advanced tips and tricks, and we're going to be playing with the Fix Info page for yet another time here in the TOLUS A321. Now, what I'm about to show you is only featured in the TOLUS A321 at this point. The Flight Factor 320 does not have a completed Fix Info page, nor does the 319. However, I suspect the 319 should be getting a Fix Info page update or an FMGC update here relatively soon, as it is going to be run on the same type of system that the 321 has right now so for now you can only do this in the 321 and we're going to show you how to do it so today's topic is how to create a vertical restriction using the fixed info page in the last video that i showed you guys i showed you how to make range rings and draw radials and draw line basically drawing lines and circles from your from your fixed info page this time i'm going to show you how to create a vertical restriction using your fixed info page now Sometimes us as simmers, we like to go direct to an airport so we can save time and not fly an arrival or an ILS or something like that. So in this example here, I'm flying into Phoenix Sky Harbor, which is KPHX, the VOR is PXR. Now this would be the normal arrival that you'd be flying here. You can see I'm a little off course here, but this is the Blythe 5 RNAV arrival. Let's say that I was gonna fly it, then the VAT sim went offline or something, and now I just wanna go direct. But I also wanna make sure that my aircraft is in the position to land and not be too fast, too high, and unstable for an approach. So a tool we have is the fixed info page. And what we're gonna use is a, a rule of thumb calculation. In general, if you're in a commercial jet and you want to be stable for any type of approach at an airport, you want to be at 10,000 feet, 250 knots, 30 miles from the airport. If you can make that window, you're more often than not going to be in a perfect position to be stable and configured for any sort of approach into that airport. It doesn't matter which direction you're coming from. If you're at 250 knots, 10,000 feet, 30 miles out, you should have plenty of time to get that done. So as you can see here on my ND, I just have a direct two line and there's a manually calculated decel point and things like that. We're going to make our own restriction. So I'm going to unpause the sim here and very similar to how we did our last video we're going to go to the fix info page now i'm on page three because i've already done two outtakes on this video but i'm going to do it again here so i'm going to put in kphx that's my arrival airport so now i have phoenix ready to go for my fix info just like the last video i'm going to put in a 30 mile radius we did a 30 mile radius if I look at my ND, I can see that I just drew that 30 mile range ring around my airport. Now, what's the only way that you can make a vertical restriction with the fix info page is if your radius that you drew or a radial that you drew intersects your current flight path. Now, in this example, I am flying direct to Phoenix airport. You can see that is indicated here by the solid green line from my aircraft's position all the way to the destination. You can see there is a clear intercept of course with my 30 mile radius. As long as you have an intercepted course, you will be able to use this function and make a vertical restriction. Now, the way that the TOLUS Fix Info page works is a little bit different than the real aircraft, so there's some simisms that we have to do that I'm going to show you how to make it work as close to the real thing as possible. So as I unpause the simulator here, if I press 30 again, this is where I put my 30 nautical miles in. If I press this key one more time, I've now created a waypoint right on my current flight plan. You can see that there's D0, 30 kph and it would say x there just ran out of space so that means i'd have a distance of 30 nautical miles from phoenix airport what we have to do now is insert that waypoint so i'll unpause the sim here and we're going to go ahead and press insert now unlike the real aircraft you have to select heading track first i don't know why that is in the real airplane you'll be able to just insert that right now so make sure that you pull for heading get the airplane in heading mode as depicted right here and now I can go ahead and insert that new waypoint. So if I go back to my flight plan page, I'm in heading mode, I need to go into nav mode. If I depress my nav, I've now gone back into nav capture mode. So I pulled for heading to insert the fix and then I pressed the heading button in to go back into nav mode. So we can see now that our flight plan is showing us going direct to 
that D030KPH fix that I created with the fix info page. So the last thing we need to do is make a vertical restriction. So just like you would with any other waypoint, I'm now going to select that waypoint with the right select key, and I have two boxes here. I know I want to put an altitude restriction of 10,000 feet, and I also want to put a speed restriction of 250 knots. Now I'm going to be able to use a managed descent to cross 30 miles at 10,000 feet and 250 knots. All I've got to do now is scroll in 10,000 feet in the window here. Don't worry about this decelerate bug. I think that's just an error from when I was slewing the airplane around. Yours probably will not say decelerate. But I can see on my ND that I have a descent arrow and a strength at 30 miles from the Phoenix VOR. As I approach my deceleration point or my descent point, I can see here about eight miles or so from it now, I will just push in the descent for a managed descent. I've got managed speed. It's gonna slow down to 250 and it's going to obey that altitude restriction at 10,000 feet from the airport. All right, so let's see that process one more time. Let's say we wanted to make a 5,000 foot restriction at 15 miles. So remember, fix info page, select fix info, go to your KPHX fix or put it in. We're gonna do a radius of 15 nautical miles. I can see my radius ring. I can see it's intercepting my current course. I press the line select key again. I have to pull for heading mode momentarily, insert the waypoint, press for manage navigation again. Now you can see I have a 30 mile waypoint and a 15 nautical mile waypoint. Go back to my flight plan. This is the first one we created, 10,000 feet, 250 knots. Here's my second one, 15 nautical miles. There is no speed or altitude constraint yet. So let's make it, select the right line select key for that new waypoint. Let's pretend we wanted to go 5,000 feet at 180 knots. And now I have two waypoints created on my flight plan using the fix info page with a vertical restriction and a speed restriction. This is a good way to set up a stable approach position for your aircraft. Maybe you're going into an airport that has no approaches or there's no arrivals into that airport. Or maybe you don't have any arrivals in your database that you want to fly, but you just want to do an approach. The best way to set it up is to put that 30 nautical mile radius around the airport, press the 30 nautical mile button again, which will insert the waypoint, manage your navigation up, and you'll be all set to go. So I hope this tutorial helped you out. I look forward to seeing you guys on another advanced MCDU video.